Hi guys, welcome to T Account, a platform for educational videos for accountants. We started from uh, financial accounting for ACC and we have uh, already covered a lot of uh, stuff. And uh, now we are on app, uh, chapter 8 non grant assets. In non grant assets, we have already covered the basic definition main characteristics which differentiate non grant assets from grant assets and the definition of depreciation why is it required different methods and policies that a management can choose now moving on to the disposal of non grant assets we will also in this video if time permits we will also discuss the revaluation but disposal of non uh, non grant assets what happens at the end of the life of a non grant assets. IAS 16 property plant and equipment says that uh, carrying value of a, an item of non grant assets shall be de recognized, de -recognized uh, on the disposal of the, that asset or when no uh, economic further economic benefit is expected. So, how that is done? will learn it um, through some example but there are i mean easy way to if i simplify the equation for uh, you can say calculation of uh, profit or loss on uh, the disposal it will be like this sale proceeds whatever you are getting at the final disposal of uh, that uh, non current assets less carrying value if that amount is positive you have a profit simple if that is negative you have a loss in simple terms layman's terms now what is uh, carrying value carrying value is simply uh, I have already noted down the data for uh, an example that we will be going through. Cost less accumulated depreciation. These are the two elements that we have related to any uh, non current assets most commonly. So, cost less accumulated depreciation, you will have uh, net book value or carrying value that ever, whatever you are carrying in the books related to that asset sale proceeds whatever you are getting in return of that uh, asset so if that is excuse me if that amount is positive meaning sale proceeds exceed the carrying value of that asset if sale proceeds exceed the carrying value of that asset you have a profit very good but if you are uh, disposing it off or something less than the carrying value loss. Now, um, you need to think like an accountant. Being an accountant, you always think in terms of um, accounting entries, ledger accounts. When they say you need to remove it, de-recognize it, you will, I mean, think what do you have related to that asset in your books. So, you need to basically zero out, clear out those ledgers. For instance, if you read this example, I have already written data to save your time. Machinery account 100,000, accumulated dep depreciation 60,000, NBB 40,000. Now, at the end of the year or the start of the year, whenever you are going to dispose it off, you will have uh, this cost account, cost of that account like machinery, machinery account and then the accumulated depreciation. You have these two values at least most commonly uh, accumulated depreciation account. What do you have in the system in your books? 100,000 cost of that machinery. 
broad forward here you have broad forward 60000 accumulated appreciation till date when you de recognize you need to clear these accounts but you will also receive something in disposal that is sale proceeds so you need cash as well but you will not have uh, this balance opening balance here now what will you do when you dispose it off you need to pass three entries basically to account for this clear out the related ledgers and uh, book the cash receipt what are those entries first you will clear this account cost how do you do that by the way we will have uh, another account called disposal at the disposal of a non non grant asset we prepare a disposal account this will tell you how much profit or loss you are getting from this deal okay now what are those entries first disposal account to machinery account to transfer the cost of that machinery to um, disposal account so this cost has been um, transfer to machinery account 100,000 to this disposal account here you will say disposal account and you have already cleared this account okay one entry done so one account cleared related to that uh, non current asset now depreciation you still have related to that account you have depreciation second entry will be accumulated depreciation debit how much 60000 that is the total you have and disposal account sixty thousand so both of these account now cleared you will say sixty thousand here uh, to disposal clear both account cleared but we still have something to record um, let's post this as here as well uh, accumulated depreciation 60,000 still we need to book that cash receipt cash is too close here in disposal let's say you received 50,000 cash okay the entry will be third entry hope you can see it um, cash to disposal okay now all these three entries booked but you still need to post that cash here this is the second part of that entry now Khalas, if you are disposing it off for cash, this is what you do. Only three entries to de-recognize it and calculate the profit or loss of that uh, um, disposal. So now this account is cleared out zero. This account is zero. And here we need to see what we are having the balance balancing figure need to calculate the balancing figure that will tell us how much 110 so this side is bigger 
वन टेन बैलेंस इज टेन थाउजेंड गुड सो यू हैव गॉट प्रॉफिट ऑफ टेन थाउजेंड हाउ हाउ प्रॉफिट दिस इज अ प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस अकाउंट If this side is bigger, heavier, you have a profit. Credit side, credit side bigger profit. This is credit balance, ten thousand. If debit side is bigger, this side as I mean bigger value, it will be debit balance and you have a loss. Clear. So that's what we do when we have. Uh, a cash disposal of a non current asset but sometimes what happens is you don't just dispose of but you also buy a new asset in so basically you go for exchange you pay some cash and uh, also give the old asset and get a new one the seller also or the supplier gives you some allowance for the old um, non current assets and gives you the new one of course in return for some additional cash as well so what will be the additional entry for that let's say uh same example exactly same example but we purchased uh, a new machine for 200000 200000 okay and that supplier agreed supplier agreed to give us a uh, allowance of $50000 exactly same amount not cash but he has agreed to give us 50000 allowance for that in uh, for that uh, old uh, machinery and the 150000 will pay cash then what happens how do we present it the difference will be only the other entries will remain the same this third entry will change now will not say cash because we are not getting cash rather we are getting new machinery in return new machinery some part of new machinery is being paid by the old machinery some consideration is being paid in cash and some through the old machinery so we are um, getting some machinery here again whatever is the amount of allowance we have supposed that this is 50000 here will not say cash we cannot because we are not getting cash rather we'll say again machinery 50000 that's what will happen and one more extra entry which will not be posted to this uh, disposal uh, account but to account for the purchase of a, a new asset new asset what is that that will be machinery machinery account to cash the additional payment of 150000 dollars okay so we need also we need to book this entry as well now here we'll get two entries one from the disposal account this need to post this entry as well machinery is being debited with the disposal how much 50000 and uh, being debited with cash 150000 i don't have space but why do why don't i remove it hope you understood this these uh, first entries plus two entries so cash 150000 dollars this is now part exchange agreement in which you
purchase a new asset and give the old asset in return along with some additional cash okay so 150 cash 150000 allowance for uh, that uh, new machine what else we need to post we need to post this credit entry here as well um, machine 150000 okay this will remain the same this profit because we didn't change that amount of cash or allowance we kept 50000 over there if there is any change in that uh, allowance or cash you are getting on disposal then you will have uh, again you will have to calculate the profit or loss or that there is any change in the carrying value otherwise only these three entries will come here and you will find the balance balance remember credit balance profit debit balance loss debit balance will come on the credit side credit balance will come on the debit side simple so that's how we deal with the, that um, part exchange ag agreement now we have if you calculate uh, quickly how much 300,000 here you will say 300,000 and the carried forward balance is 200,000 the cost of the new machine you bought this will be zero or you may charge the depreciation whatever depreciation is on the new asset if required but that is done another angle of looking at the same thing this is for the accountants not for students we said um, sale proceeds less carrying value is the profit or less loss depending which side is bigger if sale proceeds bigger than carrying value profit okay if the opposite happens sale proceeds less and carrying value more you have a loss okay of course if they are balanced no profit no loss but another way of looking at this is this is the total cost you paid total amount whatever you paid for that asset throughout his life its life from the beginning till the end and on this side the other side of the um, ledger you have the total benefits received from that asset this benefit is in the form of cash net cash you are saving and this is also accumulated de depreciation is also benefits benefits you received during its life through its usage it generated whatever revenues you used it in the uh, business so this is another form of getting the benefits from the assets so these are the total benefits you received from the from that asset and uh, this is this was the total cost you paid so the any difference if benefits are more obviously profit yeah, uh, I hope this will be very helpful and uh, I wanted to cover that revaluation stuff in the same video but uh, I, I don't want to keep it that long so I'll uh, record a new video for the revaluation stuff Thanks a lot for watching and if you are interested uh, in the previous videos, we have